that was efficient. Speaking of efficiency, what is the easiest, quickest, and most efficient way to open or close an item? The answer lies in the zipper. Let's learn more about that. So the problem we have here is what is an efficient way, a simple and a fast way to keep items secured or an easy way to take them off? Um, one way that isn't is buttons. If you think about it, buttons come off really easy and it's very it's very expensive to put them back on. You gotta go through the tailor, then you have to buy more buttons, then you have to buy the thread and the needle, and it's just very inconvenient. Another inefficient way is a Velcro. If you think about it, if it gets wet, you really can't, it doesn't function. And it's just, you don't want to deal with it when it's raining outside and you can't stick your jacket on. Thus, uh, a zipper was created. A zipper is a very efficient and simple way to secure an article of clothing. Now, here's the structure. Now, I'm talking about how it works and the structure of a zipper. And first, I will show you the image of a zipper. Next, actually, the zipper is a little machin machinery and uh, mainly made by three parts, which is the elements, slipper, and the tapes. And this image will show you how it exactly works when they zip up. And the left and right elements will go through the slipper one by one and attach and stick each other. And when you zip up from the bottom to the uh, to the top, you can really can save in your time. So the whole process when you zip up the zipper is look is look at complicated but very very efficient and very simple. So next we're we'll talking about the real example about the fine zipper. So now that you know how a zipper works, we'll see where it is applied. So it is applied in very simple situations, such as going from outside to inside. You want to take your jacket off quick and efficient. The zipper is going to allow you to do that. It is also applied to jeans and a lot of other everyday attire that people wear. But it's also used in ex extreme situations, such as scuba diving. You have this wetsuit that is very tight, and you want to keep the outside from coming in, and you want to keep your body temperature at normal so that you don't get hypothermia. And then also you can use it when you're skydiving to keep the elements out so that wind or air doesn't get inside your suit so that the aerodynamics would be off. So here is our group. And I'm Michael. I'm Cully. I'm Tim. We're group 10. We're group 10. Later.